So the first banana splitting started in 1982 by the Hope Foundation. And actually originally Friendly's Restaurant, which was a restaurant in town, provided all the ice cream and toppings for it. It used to be held on the quad, um, which was called the Green Space. Ashland College held the record for the longest banana split in the Midwest, and it was 100 feet in length. CAB began hosting the event in 2002, and from there we moved it on to College Avenue and shut down the street and kind of brought the whole community in. Banana Splitting is a ginormous banana split eating contest. Um, it's all throughout the community and all of Ashland University comes to watch. It's pretty amazing. So there's best costume, um, fastest eater, and most creative eating style. Tons of people come out on um, homecoming weekend. Well known, lots of fun. I think it's a really great event to bring everybody together. So it's not just students that are participating. This year we had a team of all student affairs staff members who came and made a team and brought their kids with them. And our judges were all people from the community. Um, we had the mayor of Ashland come, uh, Dr. Campo, the president, um, the VP of student affairs. So we kind of bring everybody together. And I think that's a big thing that Ashland focuses on is community and making sure that people interact with one another in a really fun and just kind of carefree way. I think it's important because it builds a community outside of the university, like everybody from actual like Ashland County comes and watches it as well as the university. So it builds that relationship between the university and the town. Like we had the mayor this year as a judge and that was the first time we've done that before, which is super exciting. So obviously that's another tie to the community that we needed. Um, Banana Splitting is so important to Ashland University because it's just an ongoing tradition that helps kick off homecoming weekend. Um, starts on a Wednesday, homecoming is the entire weekend with the football game, pizza, 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 other events, and it's just a great starter to get everybody involved and excited for all the events that we have going on, and it really helps to bring students and faculty, everybody else together. I love it for a lot of reasons. First of all, it's just really fun to see everybody dressed up in costume and um, eating lots of banana splits. You can't go wrong when you have ice cream and bananas and sprinkles together. Um, I also love it because I get to watch CAB kind of come alive and really bond together and be able to create a large scale event and watch it go out without a hitch. So it's always fun to watch students interact and kind of make an event their own. I just think it's so different than what other colleges have. Like I've never heard of another college having a banana split eating contest before, which I think is really cool. And it's just super fun. Like it's something I look forward to. It's something that all my friends look forward to. I love it because it is tons of fun. Students come together and they build their own teams and even their coaches come out. Uh, some of the athletic teams had their coaches there for the past few years coaching them on how to eat their banana splits and how everything that they should be doing, which is very fun and silly. I think my favorite part was like on the cab side of things, picking up that responsibility of having to run it because it is a really big event. It takes a lot of planning. So having that big responsibility and then I think getting the mayor as a judge was really exciting and just the judges that we had and like having Fred as the MC was super exciting. He did a really good job. It's always fun. My favorite part is to stand on College Avenue and watch teams come towards the street in crazy costumes dressed up as all kinds of things, elves and sharks and who knows what else. So it's always a fun event, I think, and brings out the creativity in people. I think Fastest Eaters is my favorite just because it's that's when it gets really crazy and everyone like, you know, rushes the tables to watch everyone. But I also really like the most creative eating style because that's when everyone can kind of like, you know, come together and create this really crazy thing that they're gonna do to eat their banana splits. Uh, last year as a freshman, I was extremely impressed by, uh, I'm pretty sure it was Res Life. They had a ladder and they just dropped the banana split all the way down. Um, this year, the um, swimmers, they did a great job along with, I believe the throwers, they did a uh, Olympic torch lighting with their banana split, which was very creative. I think banana splitting is just a really great tradition for Ashland to have, especially during homecoming week and I hope we can keep making it bigger and better in the years to come. We had a great time and we loved seeing everybody come out and felt as if there was really a sense of community built and it was a great time, great to be a part of the tradition. It's the craziest thing in the entire world. It's pretty awesome. It's just fast moving, fast paced. It's really fun. Everyone gets really excited about it. Mm -hmm.